What specific traits do you look for when hiring team members? So guys, I've made a lot of wrong hires in my early days of real estate. One of them was my very first assistant. I hired at 22. I had no experience on hiring. I had no experience on personality and the discs, right? The profiles. I had no idea. So I hired somebody that was just like me. She was super cool, fun. I loved it. I'm like, oh, we're having fun. We're jamming. She laughed at all my jokes. I was like, ha she loves my jokes. This is so cool. And what I realized is she's good at everything I'm good at and she sucks at everything I suck at. So guess what? This is not going to work. And so after about six months of literally going, did you confirm that appointment? Oh no, I forgot. Where's that paperwork? Ah, I'm, I'm not good at the details. Like I need someone to support me. That's good with the details, right? I know that my strengths after reading this book called the strength finder, I learned my strengths are I'm great at generating business. I'm a lead generator. I'm a machine, right? I can generate business all day long. I'm good at that. That's my strength. I'm also phenomenal at negotiating. Those are my two strengths as a realtor. Those are the two best, the biggest pillars that I bring to the table. Now, everything below that, I said, you know what? I want to delegate that out. I want to find someone who can balance it out for me. And so my second hire after my first assistant work out was an assistant. And it, went, it was a completely different type of assistant. She didn't laugh at any of my jokes. I'm like, gosh, crickets. Like, I'm dry. Like, <laughs> I'm pulling out stuff from like three years ago. She's not laughing. So what happened was, I found someone who was phenomenal at the details, right? I found someone that literally was super highly organized. And I mean like crazy organized. I was not, I had files all over, my desk was full. So I found someone to balance me out that was super good at all of the details and was not good at prospecting, not good at the face-to-face, -face, the belly-to-belly -belly negotiations like I was. And it was perfect. And so I learned that by reading the book called The Strength Finder. There's also a test in there that I make people take. I made my team here take it, a, a, a test on what their strengths are and what their weaknesses are. I don't want them to work on their weaknesses. It's like Shaquille O'Neal when he was with the Heat, right? He'd be throwing free throws and he was missing them. So they said, you know what we're gonna do, Shaq? You're no longer allowed to throw free throws. It's your weakness. We want you to be the best guard out there, but no free throws. That's all. You're going to find you if you do free throws because they knew that was his weakness, right? And so the whole message here is we need to focus on our strengths and we need to delegate our weaknesses. Now, that's just for an assistant. For a buyer's agent, right? When I hired my first buyer's agent, I knew that I want this buyer's agent. I don't want them to be like Tyler. I don't want them to be a lead generator and a great negotiator. I can help and support in those things, but I have a lot of referrals coming in and a lot of leads and I need to give them to someone who just wants, I want to take the buyers and I want to show them property and I love showing them property and I need that person who says, I don't want to have to go out there and drum up business because Tyler, you're going to provide that and I want you to help me with negotiations and stuff, but I really am real. My strength is I love to show property. I love to do the ties 35 and do, I love the touch, the feel, the, the, I love all of that about a buyer. And so that was what I looked for. I hired Tyler as my buyer's agent. Tyler would be great. Eventually he'd go off and do his own thing. And now I'd have to find a new buyer's agent. And my goal was to find someone who was committed to the process, committed to the team, and was actually able to deliver on my needs as a buyer's agent, a listing coordinator, an assistant, a transaction coordinator. So I'm gonna do a little favor for you guys. I had traits that I looked for in each role that I hired. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna list those below here. That way you have them and you can see when you're hiring an assistant, here's what you should look for. When you're hiring a buyer's agent, here's what you look for. These are the things that worked for me, just for Tyler. You may like them, you may love them. Take what you love, use it. The one things that you don't, throw them out. Um, but uh, personality traits are huge. The whole disc profiling is huge. You, you definitely, I would say, you're going to waste time hiring someone that you don't do this test with down the road, firing them and finding the actual right person. You're losing time and we can't take that back. So uh, make it happen. Go out there, you know, profile your people. I'm not talking FBI, you know, craziness, but you know, go out there and profile them. Ask them the hard questions. Ask them what their strengths are. Ask them what their weaknesses are. Make sure they align with your vision and your goals and what your strengths and weaknesses are. And uh, go from there. Ciao.